Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Samuel Shafishuna Daniel Nujoma Samuel Shafishuna Daniel Nujoma is one of the few remaining living legends that the African continent has. Revolutionary, anti-apartheid activist and seasoned politician are only a few words to describe this phenomenon. Nujoma, the eldest of 11 children, was born in the village of Etunda in Ovamboland, Southwest Africa on the 12th of May 1929. He spent his early childhood looking after his siblings and tending to the family's cattle and traditional farming activities. At 10, he started attending a Finnish missionary school at Okaho and completed Standard 6, which was the highest educational level possible for blacks during the time. In 1946, he moved to Welvis Bay to live with his aunt, where he began his first employment at a general store for a monthly salary of 10 shillings. He was 17 at the time and later worked at a whaling station where he was exposed to the world politics by meeting soldiers from Argentina, Norway and other parts of Europe who had come during World War II. In 1949, Nijoman moved to Windeck and started working as a cleaner for the South African Railways SAR. While there, he started attending adult night school at St. Barnabas Anglican Church School, primarily to improve his English. He studied further for his junior certificate through correspondence at the Trans-Africa Correspondence College in South Africa. Nujoma began his political involvement in the early 1950s through trade unions. In 1957, at age 29, Nujoma resigned from SAR to enable him to devote more time to politics. That same year, a group of Namibians working in Cape Town led by Andiba Toivo Yatoivo formed the Ovambo Land People's Congress OPC. OPC was opposed to South African policies in Southwest Africa including the inhumane contract labor system under which people were made to work for small wages. On the 19th of April 1959, Nujoma and OPC co-founder Jacob Guhangwa adapted a copy of the OPC constitution and established the Ovambo Land People's Organization OPO, in Windeck. At its first congress, Nujoma was elected president. During the following year, he traveled all over Namibia secretly, mobilizing and setting up branches of OPO. In September 1959, the Southwest African National Union SWANU, was formed as an umbrella body for anti-colonial resistance groups and Nujoma joined its executive committee representing OPO. But OPO later broke away from SWANU and reconstituted itself as the Southwest Africa People's Organization SWAPO in New York on the 19th of April 1960. Nujoma was elected president in absentia. He arrived in New York two months later. After his arrival, he petitioned before the subcommittee of the General Assembly of the United Nations. Nujoma demanded that Southwest Africa be granted its independence by 1963 at the latest. He then returned to Tanganyika, that is part of present-day Tanzania, in 1961 from where he and a small group of activists would develop SWAPO into an international force. He got support from other African nationalists, especially Julius Nyerere. Nujoma cited Swapo's provisional headquarters in Dar es Salaam and arranged scholarships and military training for Namibians who were joining him there. In 1962, the Southwest African Liberation Army SWALA, which is the armed wing of Swapo, was founded. It was later renamed the People's Liberation Army of Namibia (PLAN). 
the first armed clash between Swala and the South African Security Forces took place on the 26th of August 1966 at Omugulugumbashi. This marked the beginning of the Namibian War of Independence, which would continue for over 25 years. In the late 1960s, Nujoma continued his diplomatic effort as Swapo established offices across Africa, Europe, and the Americas. He represented Swapo at the founding of the Non-Aligned Movement on the 1st of September 1961 in Yugoslavia, as well as the founding of the Organization of African Unity OAU, in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia on the 25th of May 1963. In 1965, the OAU proclaimed Swapo as the only lawfully recognized representative of the Namibian people. On the 19th of March 1989, a ceasefire agreement was signed between South Africa and Swapo. Six months later, in September, Nujoma returned to Namibia after 29 years in exile to lead Swapo to victory in the UN supervised elections that paved the way for independence. The Constituent Assembly of Namibia in November 1989 chose him as Namibia's first president and he was sworn in on the 21st of March 1990 with Javier Perez de Silla, Secretary General of the UN, Frederick de Klerk, President of South Africa, and Nelson Mandela, just released from prison in attendance. At independence, Namibia was seriously divided due to many factors including a century of colonialism, dispossession, and racial discrimination all compounded by armed struggle and propaganda. One of the notable early achievements of Nujoma as president was to proclaim the policy of national reconciliation, which aimed to improve relations amongst Namibia's various racial and ethnic groups. Under his presidency, Namibia made steady economic progress, maintained a democratic system with respect for human rights and rule of law, and worked steadily to remove the remnants of apartheid. Nujoma was able to successfully unite all Namibians into a peaceful, tolerant, and democratic society. Nujoma was re-elected as president of Namibia in December 1994 with 76.3% of the vote. Then in 1999, the constitution of Namibia was changed to allow Nujoma to run for a third five-year term. This was justified on the grounds that he was not directly elected for his first term and the change applied only to Nujoma. Again, he won the elections overwhelmingly with 76.8% of the vote. After his third term, Hifikepunye Pohamba, who was described as Nujoma's hand-picked successor, succeeded him as president on the 21st of March 2005. Though Nujoma has stepped down from a former role, he is still active in the political sphere, regularly campaigning for Swapo at various rallies and functions across the country. He married Kovambo Kajamune on the 6th of May 1951 and they had three sons and two daughters. One of his daughters died at just 18 months while he was in exile. His first son, Utoni, is a high-ranking politician in Namibia and member of Swapo. Nujoma's father, Daniel Utoni Nujoma, died of tuberculosis in 1968 while imprisoned in Pretoria for two years. His only crime was being Nujoma's father. His mother, Kuku Helvi Mpingana Kondombolo, lived to an exceptionally old age. She was reported to have been over 100 years old when she died in November 2008. Nujoma has received over 14 honorary doctorate degrees from institutions all over the world. What have we missed out of this biography of Nujoma? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.